Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. My name is Kevin Doe here with Equip Board. Today, we will be taking a look at this little green classic. The pedal that I'm holding here in my hands is the Maxon OD9 Overdrive pedal. This is a fantastic overdrive pedal that really delivers the goods. So you may be asking yourself, hey, why, why does that look like an Ibanez TS9? Well, that's a very good question. So let's dive into a little bit of pedal history. Originally, the Maxon company was a manufacturer of pedals for different companies. So Maxon was the original developer of the Ibanez Tube Screamer line. They're the ones who came up with the circuit, built the pedals, and simply stuck an Ibanez badge on the enclosures. Maxon continued to develop pedals for Ibanez until the early 2000s, while at the same time were issuing their own versions of those same pedals under their own name. What Maxon has done with this latest iteration of the OD9 is that they improved the circuitry to yield a bit of a smoother overdrive sound and a better noise floor. The circuit itself is still based around the JRC4558 chipset, the chipset that is probably the holy grail chipset for Tube Screamer enthusiasts. And unlike the Ibanez TS9's buffered bypass, the Maxon OD9 features true bypass switching. Now the pedal does have the three controls that we've all come to know and love on an overdrive pedal. We have the drive pedal, which controls the amount of gain applied to the signal. We have a tone control, which acts as a high cut, either making the sound brighter or darker. We also have a volume knob, which controls the overall output of the pedal. This pedal can be powered by a nine volt battery with the access uh, via a little door in the back of the pedal or powered via your standard nine volt DC adapter. So the sound of the pedal is very reminiscent of every Tube Screamer you've probably played. However, a couple of things that I did notice is that the overdrive is a bit more smooth. The mid range bump that comes in is a bit more smooth than your typical Tube Screamer. And I also found that this pedal does not shelve the low end as much as a TS9 does. For those who play Tube Screamers know that the Tube Screamer really does two things. Bumps the mids, cuts the lows. Because this pedal retained a bit more low end, I found that the sound of it was a bit more thicker. And to me, that's a bit more pleasing. I feel that, you know, you got a bit of a better tone to play with than all mids and no lows. So let's see how this pedal sounds. For this demonstration, I will be testing this pedal three ways. Starting with all knobs at new, which is my favorite way to try out a new overdrive pedal. The next sound will be using this pedal as more of a clean boost, so cranking the volume, reducing the drive. And I'll be going for a much higher gain sound in the third instance, cranking the drive and the volume to really push the front end of an amplifier. The guitar I'll be using for this demonstration will be my Fender Naventa Telecaster. The amp sounds will be courtesy a UA Dream 65 amplifier pedal, and the Room Reverb comes from the Room plugin by Plugin Alliance.
was this pedal for? I find that if you are looking for the Tube Screamer sound with just a bit more, this is probably the ideal pedal for you. As I've mentioned, and as I hope you've heard, the mid-range is a bit smoother, and the low end is a bit more intact, I, which I find gives a much thicker sound compared to your typical Tube Screamer. And for those who always wanted a Tube Screamer pedal with true bypass from an authentic source, this is definitely something to consider. So, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Do share it with your Tube Screamer and Overdrive loving friends. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you are subscribed or just subscribed, don't forget to ring the notification bell so that you are notified of new videos the second they come out. We hope you've enjoyed this review and demonstration of the Maxon OD9 Overdrive. Once again, my name is Kevin Doe for Equipboard. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.